Whilst general maintenance of Bamboo Lab 3D printers is typically fairly easy, sometimes if you're doing something more technical like swapping out a specific component, it can be a bit overwhelming. So today I'm going to take you through how to swap out an internal hub component for a Bamboo Lab AMS 2 Pro. If you're just here for the tutorial, you can skip straight to that using the chapters in the timeline or in the video description. If however you'd like to learn a little more about why you may need to change this hub and something that you can check before you even order a replacement, stick around because we'll be covering that first. So let's take a look. Whilst it doesn't offer any brand new game changing print performance features beyond the very appreciated built in filament dryer, the AMS2 Pro is certainly a welcome refinement of the already superb AMS1. Whilst I'm still rocking some first gen AMS with my X1C, I'm running several AMS2 Pros across my H2Ds and they've all been performing great and running without issue. Recently however, and kind of out of nowhere, I started getting an issue with one of my AMS2 Pros, where it was no longer able to load or even read the filament from any of the four slots. It started throwing up a few different error codes saying that the AMS odometer had no signal, and it was obvious that it wasn't detecting when the filament left the AMS. As a result, depending on whether I'm trying to load or read the filament, it would either load the filament all the way down into the printer and into the nozzle and keep pushing because it doesn't realise it's there, or it would load about one or two feet outside of the AMS, realise something is not right and then retract. In my case, this was caused by the AMS's internal hub unit, which takes the four inputs from the four different slots and then feeds them through to a single exit PTFE tube. This AMS internal hub also features some sensors, including a filament sensor set, and this was the root of my issue. Before opting to get a replacement hub, it's recommended to first try unplugging and reseating the filament sensor connectors to check that it wasn't just a loose connection. I'll show you how and where to do that shortly. However, if you've got to that point and it hasn't solved your issue, you may need to replace the entire internal hub. Luckily, it is a fairly quick and easy process and I'll now take you through all the steps you need to follow to get your AMS2 Pro up and running. Once it's all apart, I'll also show you the cables that you want to disconnect and reconnect to test if that is going to solve your issue. So let's get stuck in. Unload any loaded filament and remove the spools. Turn off your printer and unplug the AMS. Whilst firmly pressing the release button on the back, pull and remove the PTFE tube. Place the AMS on a table for easy access. If you have any desiccant or silica beads in your AMS, make sure you remove them before continuing. Squeeze the buckle on the inside of the PTFE release switch and gently push it out, using the other hand outside the AMS to guide it, ensuring that the spring inside doesn't shoot out and get lost. Remove the two central filament rollers at the back, then unscrew the two screws that are hidden beneath these rollers using a 2mm hex key. You don't need to physically remove these screws to continue, but note that they are not fitted into the frame, so if you tilted it upside down they will fall out, so try not to lose them. Note that this is still connected to the base using several wires underneath, so be gentle. Let's get these cables unplugged so we can safely remove the internal structure. Remember, as always, you should be doing this holding the plastic plugs and not tugging on the wires themselves. You can now fully lift and remove the internal part of the AMS2 Pro and put it aside for easy access. This is where you can check the plug fitting before you decide if you need to order a new one. This wedge shape here is the internal hub. Unplug and refit the connector on the hub and the other end of the cable on the main board. If this is the first time you've checked these connections, put everything back together to see if that solved your issue. If you've already done that and it didn't help, then you're replacing your internal hub, so continue with the video and I'll show you how. Press the couplers and remove the PTFE tubes for each of the four slots running into the hub. Remove these three screws and unplug the three cables for the motor, hall sensor and mileage speed measurement sensor. We now need to remove the internal hub motor. To do this, remove these two screws, then remove the motor including the bearing and extrusion wheel. 
included with your new hub, you should have received a replacement bearing, extrusion wheel, and replacement silicon gaskets to line the bottom of the hub. So remove the bearing and wheel from your motor and put them aside with your old hub. Slot the new extrusion wheel on the motor, lining up the flat side in the hole on the wheel and the flat side of the motor arm. Then install the bearing into the slot on the side of the new filament hub. Now install the motor onto the new hub. Ensure the orientation is correct by checking that Bamboo Lab and FAM013 can be seen once fitted. Fit the two silicon gaskets onto the underneath of the hub like this. Now, Bamboo Lab actually recommends to screw the hub back in before reconnecting the three connectors. However, once screwed in, the hub can really limit access, meaning that you're putting a lot of pressure on components without being able to support them from behind. Following those instructions actually resulted in me pushing the connector clean off of the motor. So I would suggest to plug in the motor and the sensor connector on the side first before screwing the hub back in. Once those two plugs are reseated, install the new hub, making sure not to knock the silicon strips on the bottom. Then, once you're happy it's aligned correctly, screw it down with the three screws. Finally, reconnect the last of the three plugs here on top of the hub. Flip the internal plate back over and insert the four PTFE tubes into the new hub. You can now partially place it back in the main frame, angled towards the front, and plug the power and signal cables back in. Aligning the tabs of the bottom cover at the front, insert it fully. Then screw it back down with the two screws on top. Clip the two rollers back in place. Then spin your AMS around and insert the PTFE release button back into it, starting at the bottom, then rock the top inwards, making sure that the buckle clips back in place inside. Once you're happy that the new internal hub lines up with the outlet hole, insert your PTFE tube. Finally, you can get it popped back on your printer, connect it up, power up your printer, and load a spool of filament. If it now loads without issue, you're good to go. If it doesn't, open it back up again and make sure that all of those cables are connected correctly, and that the silicon gasket and motors are aligned as I mentioned. Well, hopefully that's helped you get your AMS2 Pro back up and running. If it did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If it didn't and you're still having issues, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I've got any thoughts on how we can get you sorted. If you know that you need to get a new internal hub and you haven't yet ordered one, it's worth noting that you should be able to get one under warranty. At the time of recording, the AMS2 Pro hasn't even been out a year, so in theory they should all be covered by warranty. In this case, just flag a ticket on the Bamboo Lab service centre on their website and go through a conversation where they'll re require things like your logs, uh, photos and videos of the issue, and eventually they should send you out a replacement unit for free. Thanks for sticking around, and don't forget, I've already got a treasure trove of Bamboo Lab, general 3D printing, and general maker tech tutorials and deep dives, so go check them out to learn something new or have some fun. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. As always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. A huge thank you to my revolutionaries, my channel members, for your support. If anyone else would like to join them and me and become a channel member, getting yourself bonus goodies, hit the join button below any of my videos. For now, why not watch one of my other videos to learn something new or have some fun. Thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing.